Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 and... Tonga time! And Tonga time. I think this will be the last episode of our dear little precious Tonga time. We don't have very much more to conquer. I'm gonna bring down the European Union and then call it. Because after that we are the supreme power. Sure, UK and US would be nice to bring down because if we look right here would have to take down actually us uk canada as well if we ever want to have a peace deal right here but i think i'm clearly established myself as the well most superior power in the world if we compare with the european union or anyone else that potentially could be my enemy and that was basically my goal as the tonga empire uh, that as the tiny little island nation to just become the most superior power in the world and I think I'm very much am so what we're gonna do right now this episode is we are well of course we're gonna clean out this this thing god damn it turkey stop trying to well return into power once again we are gonna clean up this small little pass right here in Europe and we're gonna bring down well we are most likely just gonna have to go into Paris, maybe take a couple more major cities, and then European Union is gonna fall. I don't know how long this episode will be, but um, we are gonna finish this this episode. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just say it like that. We're gonna finish the Tongan, t the Tonga time this time. So we'll see how everything goes. Uh, if we take that down, we are gonna free up quite many troops. These two guys are just gonna move in. Well, two guys. These two groups of units are gonna move up and just try to bring down Denmark because that would be pretty nice. No, no, that's not the way I want you to go. And I don't want to touch you just yet. Come on, stop, stop messing with me. <coughs> Four units right there. Oh well, two units right there, two units right there, then two units up there. That should pretty much clean up the uh, mainland of Denmark right there. While the rest of the units are, well. They're gonna move in right here, then we're gonna take two units, move in, take Copenhagen, and boom, done. Uh, otherwise, right here in Turkey, that's not Turkey, this is Turkey. Um, yeah, everything's going quite fine. They had some kind of, well, nice naval division going on right here, where they actually got in quite many troops, more than I expected, uh, because we forgot to garrison these small islands. But this time, it's not gonna happen again. We're gonna force it down, and we're gonna properly protect everything. <coughs> So what we can really do is just focus on the main front right there. We have a lot of troops right now standing in, well, that is not on the front line, which really, really, really penalizing us right there. So as soon as we clean this out, I'm gonna let people regroup quite a bit. Uh, come on, please just move in right there. All of you guys can just stop right here. We have one tank that's gonna move in right there and that's gonna be, well, that's gonna be it. Uh, we're gonna do this as well when I think about it. We're gonna remove that order, we're gonna remove that order. So everyone is basically stationed right here and right there. Uh, by the way, we should have one more order that is like that. So you guys also push in. But uh, what I plan to do is, yeah, you are moving in right there and finishing this, yeah, cool. Then I'm gonna take, well, the tanks over here and just give you an order. Uh, these two tanks are gonna move in right there and take Copenhagen, like I said, while these guys are gonna move up right here and hopefully protect this properly. Uh, take one division like this, please. <coughs> that should stop most of their counterattacks that they might be trying right there. Uh, let's see, anywhere else that we have an issue with? Nope, nope, not really. We are really, really superior. We have 10 million manpower right now uh, on what? Unlimited, oh my god, unlimited conscription. Uh, the European Union have, Union have 8.5 to 9.4 and they are on scraping the barrel right now. So yeah, we, we, we I think we're gonna win this quite easily. Uh, let's see, if we told you 26 million losses versus 1.86. So we have quite a big advantage right there as well. God, this is not a pretty war. It has been, well, a very, very long a very long war. We fought, we bled, we stood against countless naval invasions, but we held. We held our freaking ground and we showed that even small nations like Tonga can, well, can become a superpower really. Uh, please take one of these tanks, you just move in right there because, well, then we clean up everything. Here we're still holding every province, very nice, and right here in the north, yeah. Guys, you're gonna have to just stop right now and shuffle forward to the front line because this is getting a tiny bit ridiculous when we have like two tanks on the front line and six behind them. 
So yeah, just shuffle, sh just shuffle forward and fix this. You two guys, no, 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 no. You're gonna move up right there. We're not gonna have any kind of arm order right there. So please, everyone, hold and shuffle around. We're gonna take these two guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> not anything like that. Only you two, okay? There we go. Much better. Only you two get in right there and clean this up, please. I'm gonna take one of the guys and move it down south while these two units are now gonna move in right here. Uh, you're gonna stand against that attack and then we're gonna take, come on, one tank right there, one tank right there, and then we're gonna be super happy. Uh, actually, I, can we break them right there? Yeah, we possibly, we, we, we can, yes we can. Uh, Alright, so have you reshuffled a tiny bit? Are you actually on the front line right now? I think you are. So we're gonna take these divisions, yes, attack Antwerp and hopefully take it down. Yeah, no issue at all right there. Uh, take Brussels as well. Uh, take one tank division from there just in case. So we actually have some more. <laughs> God, it's just it's, it's just ridiculous right now how powerful my tanks are. Air push check our punishment divisions. They are lovely. They are lovely. They could have added a couple more tanks. And when I think about it, we have 9.4k extra tanks right now in reserves. How much could we actually add more? Yes, we can. We can actually add quite a bit more. Uh, if we add this and this, that would be 40 combat with. Okay, never mind. We don't have close enough tanks for that. But we could add one single more tank. Uh, if we added one more mechanized unit, that would be 41. Oh, we don't afford that either. Uh, never mind. So we're just a bit better. But still, we're already superior and we don't really need to add anything. But I'm still going to do it just because I can. <coughs> Oh, really? Really? You naval invaded me right there with a tank? Come on, I have a unit right here. We're just gonna slaughter you. If, just because these guys haven't grabbed that single port. Oh my god, come on, just get in there and fix that. Otherwise, we might have some issues. Uh, there we go, going in, taking copa. Come on, there we go, thank you. So yeah, you guys are just gonna stand right there and protect this. You're protecting against naval invasions. You two guys are moving upwards to take this. You're gonna go in and take um, Okarus. Yeah, and um, there we go. Everyone is gathered right now. So everyone, please charge in and take them down. And yes, you're going to be super aggressive right now. No more waiting, no more mercy. Just go in right there and kill them all. Oh shit, we have a massive reshuffle right here of tanks. Really, at the same moment that I said charge, well, I think we're going to be all right anyway. Though there is a lot of normal units right there. If we said hello to you 19 divisions... And if we finally fulfilled your highest dream, can we do it? I'm uh, missing 3k tanks. Okay, this is silly. We're gonna accept that, but we're gonna go in right here and say hello. We're gonna remove that one tank we just added right there. Because that should pretty much fill our need of tanks. Uh, let's see, if we just scroll down and check modern tanks. Plus 3k right now. So from minus 3k to plus 3k, really? That's the big, oh, so 6k per, oh my god, that's ridiculous. But yeah, there we go. And now you've finally been upgraded to the thing you probably wanted for a very long time. You have finally become tanks. Uh, well, when you actually get your equipment, it's taking some time to actually send it away. But uh, you're getting it eventually. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna take one of these tanks. Am I? No. Yes. No. Well, we shouldn't. We should just let our garrison division deal with this, but... Now I'm a slight bit scared because now everything else is going to reshuffle and that means we might leave something else, well, unguarded. <coughs> uh, let's see, we no don't need garrison that unit place anymore. Uh, what the hell is this? Please go in and take that. And that reminds me, we don't have to garrison that northern part either. That should be completely fine. Uh, we don't need garrison anything right there except the coastline, please. Um, because now we're good. Oh, well, we're almost good right there. Everyone just move in and take down the lost parts right here of Turkey. While we're also moving in, we are very, very close to Paris right now. I would have loved to have a very, very good pun right now to say. But unfortunately, no puns in the comment. We only had four comments last episode. Very sad. This was such a good pun series, but I can understand it. For over 30 episodes... Actually, this is episode 33. Oh my god. I never, never expected this to become such a long campaign. But yeah, I can't expect you to do figure out puns for 32 episodes. That's just ridiculous. I thank you for, well, everything that you have provided me 
with all of these episodes and actually joined me and actually watched most of these episodes. It's really nice to have that cold support that if a campaign becomes super long, I know at least that, well, you will be watching most of them. Uh, let's see, take down Paris right there and that will, that might actually just shut down the European, no, no, we'll probably have to take a bit more. They're still looking pretty good. They still have another, yeah, 20% of them have to take down, which is more than just Paris. It's probably going to be most of these smaller nations. And holy shit, really? Paris is 50 points right there? Okay, it might not be very much more than Paris. <coughs> but they're really, really holding their ground right here. But because Paris is level 10 port. Uh, do we have an air force? Well, we kind of-ish have an air force. Uh, let's send everything right there. Is that really everything we have? All right, we assigned some to Tonga, of course, because, well, the US invaded us right there and I became scared. There we go. And uh, we're still holding everything right here. My dear units, while well, you're getting quite, quite a lot of slapping on yourselves. Yeah, and a massive enemy navy just around you as well. And now the speed of squalling freaked out again. What's wrong with this campaign? That makes my scroll speed completely freak out. There we go, thank you. And let's actually do like this while we add it. Uh, actually, we can't do anything more. I thought we were gonna find a bunch of extra fighters, but I guess we assigned most of them once we assigned it over there. So, <coughs> <coughs> everything we are assigning right there is everything we have. So, this might actually be everything we just selected and try to get move right there it might be something more that i forgot about but yeah let's try to move everything in right here okay 2.3k planes that's um not the best but let's group everyone together let's take some fighters move up right there because that'll be fine and then we guard everything in northern france and then we're gonna see if we can maybe challenge them and uh, yeah that was just funny they have 18,000 enemy bombers right there that's just Absolutely with Uncleus. That's just not something you can challenge with. And that was probably why I never focused more on Air Force. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a couple of tanks right here to attack right there as well. Uh, we're going to take a bunch of units to invade right there. Actually, we already have some units and you're going to attack right there. So we are basically just going to surround Paris and make sure we bring down their forts and thereby bring down Paris. And how much did you lose from that? Not that much, actually. We might actually have to go down and actually take down all of Rome as well. <coughs> and with all of Rome, of course, I mean all of Italy. Um, well, I won't actually complain about that. Uh, you guys move in like this. Thank you. And uh, we're cleaning up Italy from the north and south. We actually cut cut off this entire thing right now. Okay, maybe not. We have cut off the entire thing right now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we can take this tank and you're going to move in the coastline. Come on. Just take down those tanks. Take down those tanks and units right there. Uh, by his Kuat mapping. I believe in you. Uh, no, no, you're going to continue by the coast. And just do like this. While we're going to take this guy. Uh, Hassan the Savage. And we're going to move in and do the same thing right there from the other side. And if we group that together, well, a nice little surround right there to take everyone down. Uh, we're still holding Denmark quite well, six units right there. Which means, well, it might be time for you guys to actually start moving in instead of just standing right there. We have forced them to remove a lot of units from this front line. So I'm just hoping that you can actually take this down now properly. But this time we're not going to be ridiculously aggressive. We're going to be very careful once we move in. <coughs> We shouldn't have to reshuffle or do anything like that. It should always have done that once we had our units deployed right here. And now we're just going to slowly but slowly move in right here. And we're going to take these six divisions and see if you can actually do anything. Like take Skåne or something. That's the southern part right there of Sweden. Uh, we are going to continue teching. Well, it doesn't really matter what we pick. Since nothing we pick right now will actually finish in time. Uh, let's see, that's taken down. We are just moving very quickly into Paris right now. Or Paris, God damn it, France right now. Or, well, maybe I should say it's the European Union because we don't have a France or anything like that anymore. We just have a big stack of European Union. And there we go, we're gonna get a really, really massive surround right here. And maybe even a bigger overrun. Come on, everyone, move in right here. No mercy, no distinction. Just get in right there and take these units down. From every single direction, every single battle. 
Just get everywhere right there. Up, up, up. You're gonna stop that unit. There we go. A big ass round killed off right there. How many divisions were it? It was, let's see, 867,000 men. Holy shit. You did have maintenance company. Yes, cool. Then I want to see exactly how much we actually stole from them. <coughs> uh, right here. Wait, I can actually press on these and... Oh my god, I didn't know that. I didn't actually know that you can press right here. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what did we actually steal? Uh... Oh wait, you don't actually steal... You don't actually steal stuff in the modern day mod. Which is sad. Right, right, right. That would have been nice to see. Capture rate, 0%. Yeah, you don't actually steal stuff. Aw, too bad. <coughs> That would have been fun to see how much equipment you can actually steal right here. So everyone just move in right here and just take this down. I don't care about my fancy surround anymore. Just move in right here and take everyone down, please. Uh, let's see. That's fine. That's fine. Just move in right there. How close are you to actually surrendering right now? European Union still have another percent right there. And this just became a ridiculous mess right here. Because, well, we left it pretty goddamn open. And we have lost a bunch of divisions pretty much everywhere right now. Too bad. Sad to see, really. Really sad to see. Uh, my garrison divisions. Oh, shit. We have all of these units. Right, 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 right. Uh, I think I will just do like this. So you're going to disband. And I'm going to take you 20 divisions. Just generally reinforce all of my divisions. That would be pretty nice, actually. <coughs> So everyone is at 22 right now. Uh, you are not doing anything. Let's see. You 20 divisions. Um, okay. What the hell am I going to do with you? I guess you're just going to reinforce garrison divisions right now. And these 22 divisions you are moving up right here. Cool. Actually what I could actually have done with these 22 divisions is send them in as tanks north. Well whatever. That will be all good quite soon so focus on cleaning up the smaller parts so we can actually use more units to clean up the larger parts like if we clean up this and this we'll have more units for the southern path right here and of course rome right here or god damn it italy i'm just i'm just saying the victory points right now uh let's see let's move it <coughs> move in right there actually let's take my garrison divisions and you're gonna go in right here and be just a slight bit annoying to them just Guard the coastline right there. Just begin straight away. Uh, the same thing right there, here. Even though if they have a couple units right here, we should have more than enough to cover everything right now. Just get over right there. Start guarding. Annoy them. Be in the way. Just do whatever. Just to counteract that they well, will be able to have free reign right there. Uh, if you... Come on. I, I want you to move up right there. Nothing more. Just go up right there and fix that. Uh, we're cleaning up this little surround right here. Come on, take him down. Thank you. Uh, God, this is just such a big mess right here. We are surrounding them at the same time they are surrounding us in a couple areas. Yeah, it's just this entire messy area. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, because we have all of these smaller things. That's why this is the big negative of using field martial orders. If you actually manage to break through and get, well, the enemy split up in several directions, then you will, of course, receive this massive, ridiculous spamminess of a spaghetti. <laughs> You two guys move up right here and just bring this down. This one division should be able to hold against most. And of course you managed to round me right there for one second. But that will be alright. <coughs> uh, you might actually not break that. Hopefully a couple of those divisions will be assigned right there. Or maybe not. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take all four divisions moving. Actually no. No yeah. All four divisions right there. I'm going to take... These two divisions to move in right there. I'm gonna take this one division and you're gonna move in right there to clean that this up. And let's see, here in the south. Uh you're trying to regroup this. No, 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 no. You move in, take that province. You two divisions, you're gonna move in right there, half right there, and let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh right, the northern part right here. <sighs> Where the hell is all my tanks? When what the hell are they doing? They seem to be doing nothing right now. So maybe if I actually assigned some orders and gave... Oh, right. They would be made like this. Ugh. I'm going to have to do some real reshuffling. 
Oh my god, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be absolute crazy if I actually want to do it. Let's just... Come on, just take them down right now so I don't actually have to redo all this reshuffling. That would be really, really annoying. Just take them down. Bring them down. Kill every one of them. <laughs> do it. Okay, there we go. They are falling back in every single one of these provinces right now. We just to deal with Brest and then we're done. Uh, unfortunately, those divisions will, of course, escape, but I think we'll be all right anyway. There we go. You clean up the northern part right here. Now, all that's left is the southern part right here. So, just take all those tanks, send downwards, and then you can shuffle around from there. I'm going to take a couple of these units to just move in right there, but the rest of you pretty much should just move down right here and take that down. Uh, let's see, right here... I'm gonna just try to cut off the northern part right there. Hopefully that'll work. Um, and of course you're losing right there because they're sending in even more units right there. No, actually you managed to kill them at breast, but you are failing right here now. Or, really, you're just going back and forth right here constantly. Come on, let's see, did we wipe them out or did they escape? Come on. Uh, we wiped out some of them, I think. Not all of them, I just think we got some of them. Uh, let's see, garrison orders are moving in, very good. We are trying to push in right here, but that does not work. We are breaking them right here in the north, very good. <coughs> okay, cool. Now we can finally turn ourselves to the southern part and Spain. And this massive tank movement I just did, just crushed everyone. No issue at all. Uh, this guy move in right there and bring this down. Thank you. Uh, take those divisions right there and those divisions right there. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see, you guys. Yeah, you're moving in right there to shut that off. A nice little overrun. Uh, I, I read Tonga right here. <laughs> I was like, did they really already change the name of their city to honor their new invaders? Even before I captured them? I would I would definitely spare them. If that actually said Tonga right there, I would have not attacked right there. I would just like, alright, you're good. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's cleaned up right now, finally. And now we have this entire thing that needs to be dealt with. If everyone could just hold your ground and do whatever they're supposed to do right now, that would be lovely. I'm going to remove that order so, well, not anyone becomes confused or tries to get assigned right there. You might actually try to flee, which would be bad because then you would actually, well, try to use that use the seaway to do it. And that I don't want to. Uh, okay, we're cleaning up this quite nicely now. Uh, take these <coughs> four tanks to move upwards. Come on. Come on. Oh, four people even. Just move up right there. Thank you. Now we're going to take two divisions right there. Two divisions right there. And just... No. Two divisions right there. And two divisions right there. Nothing more. Nothing left. Just move in right there and take this down. No more invasions. No more leaving anything to the open or assume the AI take it down. We're just going to be a systematic... Systematically destroy every single one of them right now. If that means cleaning up borders, then we're going to clean up borders. Now, all of these guys can have a proper order right there and a proper order right there. And that's your orders. Move in, take them down that way. No more, no less. Uh, okay, good. These guys are actually finally succeeding. That took a very long time. But it seems like this would pretty much be your well limit. So let's just make sure you guard this and don't actually lose anything. These guys are moving in right here. I'm gonna, if they take it slow, then they should be make it as well. What are the losses right now? 31 million versus my 1.9 million. Yeah, that's some good kill death ratios. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right here, you managed to save that tank division somehow. I can't believe Mysterious Roni actually survived all of that. Freaking incredible. But um, yeah, unbelievable that you actually survived it. Let's see, how close are European Union to fall right now? Very, very, very freaking close. <laughs> so let's make sure we actually win this now these two guys bring in bring this down and there we go thank you <coughs> I remember playing this mod when the United Kingdom actually was I, I think so at least like I have this small memory of remembering that United Kingdom actually was in the European Union in the early stages of this mod though I can't be 100% sure about it like before they had announced Brexit I can't be 100% sure. I, it feels like I want to remember it. It might be some other mod I'm thinking of, of course, which is very likely as well. But yeah, kind of crazy how long time it's actually begun since I began my YouTube thing. <laughs> 
All right, this is going well. Yeah, we won't have any issues right now. Just a tiny, tiny bit more before we bring this down. We are most likely going to take Rome right now. Oh, well, actually, no. They don't have a level 10 port uh, or fort. So, yes, never mind. We There's very, very likely that we'll actually take Rome right now. Most of, there we go. Rome is taken. And that's another 40 points for me. And that's 2%. Wow, European Union is so ridiculous in their, well, in their um, victory points right there. 40 points is only 2% surrender rate. That's absolutely crazy. Well, yeah, I, I'm reacting on that. Not that Tonga Kingdom owns all of this. This small, little, tiny, tiny island. How, how, how many people do we actually have living on Tonga right now? The most developed place on Earth. <laughs> what it looks like. Uh, 92,000 people. So from a very, very small population. They actually don't have all their people recruited to the army right now either. Wow, wow. You begun small, but have increased to something so much greater. The people sacrifice yourself for the, well, for the greater good. Well, I don't know if actually... It, it is for the greater good. We're gonna be nice and noble ruler as the Tonga emperors of the world. Of course we are. So yeah, it's for the good of everyone. For the good of every people in the world. We're just, well, gonna rule you as a monarchistic... Yeah, your name is still freaked out. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> there we go. European Union has fallen. And uh, yeah. We are really the supreme power of the world right now. Uh, we could of course clean up pockets. We could of course invade United Kingdom and United States. But to invade United Kingdom and United States would require a navy and an air force. That I don't even want to think about. Especially think about my navy is right there. And it can destroy it as soon as it leaves ports. Sure, we have 182 dockyards, but so it will only take like two, three hundred years for me to build it. No, but I, I want to take down the European Union. I'm happy about it. We actually brought them down as a freaking Tonga Kingdom. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So, um, yeah, I think this is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. That you will like, comment and subscribe. Maybe write a last single pun. Write what you want to see in the next episodes or next campaigns, more like it. And uh, yeah, I think it's we gotta end it with a small Tonga Time jingle once more. So thank you guys for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it and joined this well, enjoyed this campaign. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye. Tonga time!